Mwangaza tu kule. Mie ni kiangalia yunu njo kuko gitu. Mie kule naona kuko mwanga. A volcano is one of the most unforgiving natural phenomenon on earth. If you were to fall into its magma filled center, your body would quickly bubble up and disappear without a trace. Chances of surviving falling into a volcano are almost 0.0% regardless of whether the volcano is active or not. But this man here is not an ordinary old man. It's not only falling, but the man spent 11 days inside a volcano. How is that possible? Yet some people suggest that if hell exists, then it's probably located inside an active volcano. But again, how did this old man survive? We visit this grandpa and he's ready to tell us how he survived. This is an extraordinary story. The 81-year-old lives in this house alone. Interestingly, he has a wife. They still love each other but live in two different houses, one in his own, and the man has to take care of everything here by himself. He tells us more of what happened and how he found himself stranded in a volcano for 11 days. Uh, it was one day when I was on my way going to send some staffs to my brother-in-law who lives in Mulunga. Then I met strangers who asked for help. They had some luggage and told me to help them for a short distance. One man said that being too kind is not always a decent idea. And this is what happened to him. They walked, walked and covered thousands of kilometers, yet he was told it's a short distance and they weren't going far, but found himself in one of the forests in northern Kivu between the famous active Niragongo and the dormant Niramurajira volcano. The next morning, as we were walking around the volcano mountains, where they were used to passing daily, and there was me who knew nothing, I somehow mistakenly slipped and fell deep down in the volcano. Lucky, I was not seriously injured, but had some minor injuries. My heart skipped. I was terrified and lost hope. I knew no one would get me out of that volcano. What he saw with his two eyes was really terrifying. He was stuck in too much darkness with little light coming from afar above him. He saw something that looked a bigger snake with a length of more than five meters approaching him and he almost fainted. With nothing to do, eat or a book to read as usual, he could see his days coming to an end quicker than ever before. Scientifically, a man cannot spend more than seven days without eating or drinking and survive. But he somehow defied the odds. I could pray and ask God for help. And after 10 days, a miracle happened. Those guys who took me in that forest were on a mission to rescue me. They threw a rope that was long enough to reach in the bottom where I was, and I tied myself to it, and they pulled me out. Pulling him out was also another impossible mission that had to be executed carefully. There were ten in numbers. They did their best and pulled the weak man who could not do anything. And the first thing was giving him water to drink, lifted and took him home. They also couldn't believe that he would be alive, having wondered how a person would survive spending 11 days in the earth's crust. They had even started getting ready for the burial ceremony. Had they sent the rope and sonar reaction from him, they would have looked for ways to get his body.
They had all shaved their heads, as in paying tribute, and were about to do more. However, that wasn't my time to go. That happened back in 1980 when I fell in that volcano. By God's mercy, I made it out alive. But I consider it as if I died and God gave me a second chance to life. A lot has happened to him and left him alive because even before falling in that volcano by when he was so young, he was attacked by some cannibals who took him to the place. But as lucky as he is, he found a way and escaped. Back to surviving the volcano, I was shown another volcano right next to where I fell and I was told that had I fallen there, then it would have been the end of my life because it was too an active volcano. And that is Niragongo. I was told that a few days before my rescue, a man fell there and no one ever heard of him again. He says that due to the fact that there were not any other person who felt there and returned, some people could not believe him, including family members like his sister. And due to doubting him, someone had to take a bold, risky, and again, silly or indecent decision of checking whether one would go inside a volcano and return alive. He gave it a try, and that never went well with him, as he died instantly. The 81-year-old now lives here in this house alone. But despite old age, he's not your ordinary old man. He tries doing every activity by himself. After waking up, he cleans himself, then cleans the whole house and the compound in general. Next, has to be cooking if he has anything to prepare. Right now, the old man has nine children with many grandchildren and great-grandchildren. The wife lives in the same neighborhood, but at the moment they can't share the same house for their special reasons. And he did not want to say more about him and her wife's relationship. But the thing is that despite not living together, they still love each other. If not doing any other thing, he has to go through some of his books and read to enlighten himself. As we all know, reading books is so important for a variety of reasons. It can improve one's reading, comprehension, and critical thinking skills. Additionally, reading can also provide knowledge and information on a wide range of topics and expose individuals to new ideas and perspectives. It can also be a form of entertainment and a way to relax and unwind. This old man remains grateful for life, adding that if it wasn't God, he wouldn't have survived the 11 days he spent in the volcano. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.